All out from the closure of the Tyson pork plant in Perry could leave some without jobs indefinitely. KCCI's Pepper Papura spoke with a family that says they need the government to take action or else they may lose their home. The Fidel family came to Iowa in 2019 as refugees. Their home in the Democratic Republic of Congo was overrun by a war. But five years later, they've lived out the American dream finding work at the Tyson pork plant, buying a home in Urbandale. But on Monday, all of that came crashing down. When they got the news, everybody was crying. What are we going to do? How are we going to be able to pay our mortgage? The Fidel family living in a state of panic. Ever since finding out on Monday, Misago Fidel would be one of almost 1,300 people losing his job at the Tyson pork plant in Perry come June. We don't know what happened. Job fairs in Perry are underway, and Tyson Foods is encouraging people to apply for other open roles at the company. But it's not that easy for Fidel. Everyone is going to ask them for green card before they can even apply. Fidel says, like many other refugees, his caseworker got in the job at Tyson. Hiring him was legal since Fidel is a refugee and was new to the country at the time. He's since applied for a green card, but a backlog of applications since COVID is causing a delay. It's, they've been almost for five years here and they still don't have green cards here. Data from the federal government shows about four and a half million cases in the backlog as of August. The U.S. says the backlog was reduced last year, but the Fidels are still waiting. Tyson was the... Uh, to some people, the live wire. Eric Idahan and the Genesis Youth Foundation are helping dozens of people like the Fidels, but say their fate is ultimately up to the government. We were very resilient. We tried to support each other. But at the same time, there are certain things you need extra help to get done. That was our Pepper Papura reporting. Genesis will host a community meeting at the Johnston Library on Wednesday to discuss the next steps for refugee families like the Fidels.